All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into my channel, welcome. Uh, this video today is about a couple of projects that I've placed on my roadmap. I haven't cut a video in three weeks, but I've been very busy. Part of that included a trip down to Sky Valley, which is outside of Palm Springs. I'll have a video on that. Uh, it really motivated me to make some decisions and uh, create some additional projects going forward. Uh, the other thing is I finally got my uh, last two filters, my Oxygen 3 and Sodium 2 filters. So now I have a complete set of filters, both LRGB and narrowband, so hooray for that. Um, the other thing is I'm going to be making some changes to the imaging train, and that's what this video is about. But first I would like to review, for those of you that may not be familiar with my setup, uh, what I have currently. And let's start with the telescope, which is a William Optics uh, Xenostar 61 millimeter uh, Mod 2, uh, 360 uh, millimeter uh, focal length, uh, f5.9, I think. Um, and uh, with that, I have the William Optics Z61 adjustable field flattener. And then behind that, I have um, the ZWO electronic filter wheel with the 1.25 inch filters. And then I have my recently purchased ZWO ASI 294mm Pro monochrome camera. And what you don't see on the other side is the ZWO electronic autofocuser, which I just added recently. And again, one of the videos that I am going to be doing is, uh, I believe, with the help of a person who from Belgium who reached out to me uh, on my Facebook account, um, and I'm, I'll mention him in the video that I'm going to do on this, he really helped me understand the proper way to set the backlash uh, in NINA uh, for the ZWO EAF. And I think I got it pretty close. I might not be uh, fully there, and maybe I got to do a little bit more trial and error, but I'll have a video on that because I'd like to share that information with you. In a particular, if you got a EAF and you're using Nina, it just might be helpful. Okay, so that's the current state of my imaging train. But my problem is now I've got a lot of cables when I'm out in the backyard and I'm starting to image, I've got a lot of cables. And my concern is now that I can successfully execute a meridian flip uh, within Nina, uh, my concern is the cables and will one get stuck or, you know, taunt or, you know, what might happen as part of that flip. I don't always want to be out there when it's happening. So I, I want to get uh, set up for that. So I needed a solution. So I think the solution is going to be a Pegasus Astro power box, probably the advanced. Uh, I've not purchased anything yet, uh, but I need some real estate uh, for that box. So what I thought I would do is I would uh, purchase a ZWO off-access guider and incorporate it into the imaging train. And then since I already have the ASI um, two, uh, 120mm mini camera, I can use that with the OAG, and then I can remove this William Optics UniGuide 32 uh, from this area here, and then I can use this area up here, I think, to mount the Pegasus Astro box. So, um, just wanted, I always like to give you an idea of where I'm headed uh, with my roadmap, and uh, like much of my other roadmap, I make these additions when I sell something. The way I've been funding my telescope and everything that goes with it is through selling stuff I no longer use, things I bought years ago, but I have some value to other people. So I sell it on Craigslist and uh, this is how I've been generating the uh, money to, uh, to uh, purchase these things. So um, I have someone that's interested in something big, hopefully they'll purchase it and that'll give me the money I need. But it will, I think over the next two months, you'll start to see some videos of where I've incorporated the off-axis guider in and then probably also the Pegasus Astro. And so I'd really like, it's time to really improve the, uh, the cable management um, 
because it's been really sloppy and I've had some uh, serious concerns about that. Other than that, uh, that's about it. Um, again, I did the trip down to the Sky Valley area. Uh, I actually did not image, but I'll share why uh, in that video. And it was a very important trip to, to me. It uh, really helped set some perspective for me on the value of dark sites versus my backyard and got me thinking about projects I can do uh, to be able to uh, use dark sites more often, uh, including uh, field power. So I'll have some uh, videos on that. And again, I'll have one on the, uh, the auto folks that are setting your proper backlash. And uh, now, like you, I need a clear skies so I can take uh, the setup outside and, and do some imaging and start to produce uh, some, uh, some images. And then that will, of course, get me into using Astro Pixel processor a lot more. And I'll learn through that and I'll share some of those uh, videos as well. So if you like this kind of content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I uh, welcome new subscribers. And what really makes the channel are your questions and comments. And I really want to thank those that have taken the time to comment. They watch a video, um, and they comment, and through that I am learning so much. Um, you know, it is what really I had hoped for by producing these videos that people would see them and help a poor beginner out and help me get up that learning curve a little bit more quickly. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to share your knowledge and to help me up my learning curve. And I am uh, incorporating the feedback uh, into my uh, process and my gear and everything else. So I, I really appreciate that. So if you're new to the channel, you might want to check out the comments uh, on some of the other videos uh, because there's some knowledge nuggets in there that might help you as well. Okay, so uh, that's about it for now. Um, once we get some clear skies, uh, I'll start producing some additional videos. Uh, and other than that, that's about it. Hopefully everything's good in your uh, part of the world. And as always, I welcome people reaching out to me on my Facebook page or through comments. Uh, and I always like to hear what you're doing, uh, where you're at in your journey, uh, and uh, you know how things are going. So, okay. That's about it. Till next time.